What is up guys, TSG here, and today I bring to you maps, tips, and tricks for Savannah. Now, I am recording this on PC, so I don't have everything I would have on PlayStation, but I still can tell you what I would use. Now, we're going to start off with what I run for an inventory. That is not my inventory, that is. All right. So... Right now I have the 7 mil, I mean this is also going to be good because it can show you new beginners what you should use. So being that I'm just starting out, I did also buy all the DLCs, um, I, I bought the full DLC included version on my PC, it was just the cheaper route because I wanted all the DLCs, that way I can bring you guys the nice content. So I run right now i'm saving up for the 300 300 is my baby you all know this that gun is godlike if you can get yukon and get the 300 great gun works amazing so for people starting out though uh i recommend saving up to get the the seven millimeter now it's a four through nine so you can kill anything from a class four to a nine which makes it one of the most versatile weapons in the game and it is it works great i mean you might track some of the bigger game for a bit but it, it you'll still get the full credit you know it, it still works good um or you could save up for the 338 if you really wanted to um but i i like dlc weapons they just seem to work the best um but i use the m1 i like a variety of weapons so i use the m1 i know i can use this the 7 mil to kill my class fours but I, I like the m1 it's just fun um then i use the mosin for my class three animals you can use the 243 instead of this <clears throat> uh for anyone that doesn't have dlcs the 243 would be your best bet um it's a class it shoots class two through six i believe um but that would be a good option for that um, there are rabbits, so if you really wanted to, you could run the 22 or a shotgun with uh, the small game, uh, uh, whatever. What is it, bird shot you can kill them with? I don't know. I don't ever use the shotguns, all right? So now for callers, I use the Buck Snort Wheeze. Now this is a DLC that comes with Savannah. Um, so then also I use the Antler Rattler and i normally would use the predator collar i don't have it yet but this jackrabbit collar works just fine um and then i um i i always carry a scent eliminator this stuff works amazing if you're tracking something and the wind goes the wrong direction and you need to cover your scent or if you're going up to a zone and the wind's bad it, it, it helps sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it does but i always use that um and that's pretty much all i carry we're not going to worry about my tripods or tents i yeah inventory glitch woo. but uh that's that's what i use for my main inventory i just have those the tents and tripods in my inventory right now because i am still unlocking the map as you can see, I still have to go to my air, my favorite areas to place tripods and tents down for my zones. Tripods, just like every other map, great way to keep your zones uh, from getting wiped with hunting pressure. Um, tents, I like putting them at some of my around my some of my favorite spots. Now you don't want to put them right up on that spot. You want to put them about 300 yards away from where you're actually going to and then walk to where you're going to so that way you don't scare animals when you spawn um because there is a scare scare radius and i think it's like 250 not too sure exactly but you definitely don't want to be doing that and so normally what i do is i'll hunt up here uh at these in, in between like pretty much this whole top spot's pretty good um, and then I hop from lakes. These lakes are usually really good. Yeah, these are good lakes for lions if you're hunting lions. The this one, these two, uh, this one, this one, and sometimes this one I think. And sometimes you catch them over here in a feed zone. 
Um, I usually find Gemsbach and stuff out in these fields. Um, you know, everyone's map's different. Literally, just just find what works best for you. Set the set the times to different times, and just you know, go walk around your map, explore. It's gonna take time. It sure, it'll be boring, but you know, the more you learn your map, the better you can hunt it, and the more productive you'll be. And you can find more diamonds, more rares. I mean, it, it does take luck to get some of that stuff, but you'll be able to know your map better. You know, you'll be like, okay, this this zone has this there now i can go here and kill this and then hope a respawn comes you know and then you can just work on your zones and you just rotate around you know hunting pressure on this map is hard to clear just because it's not that big and so you can't really and, and there are no small small ducks if you can find a rabbit zone and you can just go to town on them that that would be great but I usually just hunt on a tripods and just spread the hunting pressure out and that way uh, it usually balances it out and doesn't have hunting pressure all in one area. And one of the most pointless areas to hunt that I've found is this plateau. I wouldn't even worry about it. If somebody in the comments has actually ever killed anything cool up there, please let me know because I don't see jack squat up there. It is the most boring it was the i literally took the trek all the way up this thing just to get this outpost up here wasn't worth it never see anything never going up there ever again not going to waste my time the main part of this map that i hunt is this right in here great hunting i uh i do recommend um but if you guys did enjoy or found this helpful, please leave a like. Um, leave a comment below on your favorite animal you've gotten on this map. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.